Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Making of a Chef a Seminar and Lecture Program, a Day 5. So, before we jump into our discussion, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the icon bell. Number one for the uh, term is called the ambassador sauce. Mm. This type, this is a French uh, type of compound sauce made from a supreme sauce garnished with pureed pots, chicken breast, and finished with whipped cream. The amber gum, this term re uh, referred to a waxy association uh, from your sperm. Uh, from sperm whales used to do enhance or fix the seasoning and fragrances known as ambergris. The the term again we do the ambrosia. It is a, a 19th century um, salad or dessert made of fresh grated coconut and fresh fruit, especially oranges are uh, popular in the American South and. This also ambrosia is referred to cocktail made of lemon juice, brandy, apple chop, contro, and sparkling wine, and also referred this word ambrosia to a Greek and Roman mythology. It refers to the food of the gods. So the next term we call the amcor. It is type of powder. From made, uh, made from dried raw mangoes, it has a tangy flavor and it is used as a spice, principally with the ninja cuisine. Next uh, term is we call the amda, we call the amda, uh, this type of, um, refer, this type of word or uh, uh, dumpling, this is a type of dumpling from Tibetan is that it has been steamed, filled with, um, a green pepper or pork flavored with cumin, nutmeg, and ginger. Next is the ame. Ame is a Japanese term for, for sweet jelly made from millet and used in confection and fish dishes. Another word, the term is a amuja house or bulhas patur. Amujas or a Portuguese uh, pesto or petis, uh, this, uh, pasta this, uh, consisting of mussels and cooked with garlic, cilantro, and lemon juice, and paper. Yeah. Oh, the next uh, term we call this all American. Uh, this uh, word referred to a French dish, especially lobster, uh, prepared with uh, spices that. Um, a spicy sauce, tomato, olive oil, onion, brandy, and wine. And this also refer to a French garnish for fish consisting, consisting thin slices of lobster tail and American sauce. Next word is the American mayonnaise. This term referred to also again in French mayo. Nays, sauce blended with pureed lobster tail and American um, meat. Um, meat. Mm. So, the another again, the American sauce. This is a spicy fresh, uh, uh, spicy French sauce are uh, made of uh, tomatoes, olive oil, onion, and brandy and wine. So, the next word, this are uh, called the uh, American breakfast. A breakfast of juice, egg, and meat, bacon, sausages, or ham, toaster, or pastries, and uh, also offer this sometimes hash browns, grits, pancakes, or on cereals are offered too. So next, the word term is about American leg of lamb. Uh, these are uh, referred to a fabricated cat of lamb premial to the center out a uh, cut also known as a center of leg lamb or leg roast so uh, this we know about this american service mm, the, uh, this style of service a food service in which a waiter takes the order and bring to the food 
to the table. Uh, it's also referred to a food is placed on dishes or plated in the kitchen. So, this next uh, term called the American sturgeon caviar. It is a type of roe from sturgeon harvested in the co in the coastal water of American Northeast and the uh, Tennessee River. It is generally considered inferior in ration in Russia and in our Iranian caviar. So we have this American pecan or pecan. This are uh, a kind of fruit and orange flavor. Ah, uh, friends, um, bitter usually uh, mixed with water and so sweetened with a dash of grenadine uh, and served as an appetizer. So we have next our uh, term we call the amiral sauce or the amiral sauce. This is a uh, uh, French white wine sauce garnished with lemon zest and kefir and finished with anchovy, also known as admiral sauce. Um, this uh, a mist paste, uh, uh, this, uh, referred, this word referred to an heirloom variety of medium-sized tomato with bright red color and uh, an astounding flavor. It is used for sauces and uh, shrimp and slicing fresh. Um, for salad or any garnish. So we next word or was the amogio, uh, amogio, an Italian mixture of olive oil, garlic, and herbs used as topping and especially on fish dishes. Uh, okay. No, 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 next term called the amontillado. It is type of uh, a sherry, uh, a sherry dry with a nutty flavor and has a pale to light gold color and full body. Next uh, word, the term we call this uh, amoroso. It is a word referred to a term that uh, traditionally uh, describes somewhat sweet and a variety of oloroso. Uh -huh. So next term, we have the Omaradin. This uh, referred to a thin, a thin street or a sheet of um, sun-dried to apricots uh, used in Arabic cuisine and often in sweet and sour sources. Mm. Next word, the Amigidulata, Amigidulata, this uh, referred to a Greek confection of small almond uh, bowls uh, flavored with orange, sweet and paste of ground atsuki. Mm -hmm. It is available in smooth and crunky, crunky form. We call this Shubasi On. Uh, Shubasi On. Next word, we call this Aldama bread. Aldama bread is a, a colonial type of American yeast bread flavored with corn, meal, and molasses. The next word they call the ananas. This is a famous ananas uh, word usually used in the hotel and other food uh, service restaurant uh, international. This uh, anana is uh, a, a fruit, no? a term, another term for pineapple. Uh, even other uh, countries, they call it ananas pineapple. So, next word is called the Anshua. Uh, Anshua, uh, this is from France province, uh, a region from uh, pure, uh, made from uh, pureed tomato, to pureed anchovies mixed with crushed garlic and olive oil. It is served on toast, uh, usually served on toast, on or with raw vegetables. Next word or the term, we have the uh, Anxua sauce. This is a French again terminology food not uh, made from white wine sauce, uh, beaten with anchovy butter and garnished with dry uh, anchovy and fillets known as mm, anchovy filling known as a uh, uh, as an anchovy sauce. The next word I will tell the anchovy, this type of a uh, small fish called the hearing family found in Mediterranean Sea. 
and south of Europe um, uh, with a uh, blue green skin long uh, scrout uh, long snout and large mouth uh, usually available in pickled and uh, salty mm -hmm. now the next the word is uh, anchovy butter this uh, anchovy butter is referred to a uh, war ancho uh, this is a buttered anchovy so uh, use also a uh, uh, this uh, is also made for a uh, paste also uh, pounded anchovies mixed with uh, vinegar and spices usually sold in a tube mm. the uh, asia, asian is a french compound sauce made from hollandaise and garnished with diced jerkins and sauteed mushroom and truffles so next, um, word again, we have the Andalus, Al, Al Andalus. Uh, this is a friend's uh, method or a friend's preparation method associated with cuisine uh, of Spain, Spain, Andalusia, by garnish uh, of uh, tomato, mm, peppers, and rice, eggplant, and sometimes chipolatas. Uh, Next word, the terminology we call this uh, andolens, uh, andu, andolens sauce. Um, this uh, type of sauce is for uh, from uh, French compound sauce um, made from a velote or velote and tomato puree, mayo, French mayo, and uh, made with mayonnaise, uh, flavored with tomato puree and pimiento. Next, uh, word we call the andusi, uh, andusi, uh, andui sausage. Mm. Is a type, of, is a, is a spicy smoked pork sausages, uh, made with a uh, neck and stomach meat, original, originally from France, and it is now a hallmark of Cajun cuisine. Next, uh, the last, uh, second last word. The uh, anali, anali, it is referred to Italian for rings, ah, uh, for uh, the, to describe pasta rings usually used in the soup. Mm. And the last uh, word now today is uh, ana lini, ana lini, we call the rigotti, uh, rigotti. Uh, this uh, referred to an Italian for years, ah, uh, used. To describe grove uh, rings of pasta usually used in the soup. Okay, that's end our brings to end the top, the discussion. And now thank you for joining us today. So I have a little note from me being as a host that this program I would like to welcome you your comment and correction of pronunciation. Uh, are regrettably regrettable but inevitable in case that are not I'm not trained in linguistic science and thus claim no profundity on my explanation or the way I pronounce the foreign language it is only uh, representing the gatherings not of expert in linguistic but simply of teaching cooks and gourmet interesting or interest to learn that appears and deliberate in in uh, any virtue at all it is my homely virtue of high of uh, diligence so thank you again for watching and don't forget to share like and follow my uh, program so See you in my next video.